Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. Well, he's got a key to the city of Lafayette, Louisiana, but with the present company, Daniel Cormier here, I'm not sure I'm gonna go so far as to call him the king of Lafayette, but Dustin Poirier has become a UFC champion, and he remains one of the best lightweights in the world. If he's not the king of Lafayette, he's one of the kings of the UFC's lightweight division. A phenomenal striker, has such great boxing, big, strong, long arms, and an ability to fight through so much adversity to try and accomplish his goal. He's one of the most exciting fighters in the lightweight division, but also has the ability to knock you out and just out grind you over 25 minutes. And at times competing as a featherweight, he was almost a victim of his own success. He did so well that he stayed down there. Of course, since moving up to 155 pounds, he has put his best foot forward, and he draws yet another elite lightweight in this spot tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 28 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, Iron Michael Chandler! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? Let's go. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Strike. He has both. Just out of range with that right hook. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And that one certainly found the target. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch him the counter with that beautiful straight left that he oh. goes over there. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh! Just over three minutes to go round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Connects with a right. Poirier's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Just missed with the left there. Good stick. Got the single collar tie. 
goes to the body there. Nice one-two combination there. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got to notice it. Nice punch lands over the top. Kick to the body by Poirier. Able to check the high kick. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut lane. Lands a big elbow there. He got him. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Round two coming up next. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely gonna need to get stitched up after the fact, and blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've gotta be celebrating. They've gotta be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try okay, to change the tide ready? of this fight. Let's go fight. He loaded up the right hand too. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combination. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really... I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Pretty significant well to the left side. That one landed clean. situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Side control now, DC, a lot of options at his disposal from here. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Poirier's trying to lock up on a submission now. Choke now. Nicely done. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, three seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Michael Chandler! All right, so
there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockouts. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.